Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Albany Brigham in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. Interesting looking car. I've heard it's from Ghostbusters, so that's kind of neat. We're going to go ahead and start off with the armor upgrade on this vehicle. We do have a body trim option for this. We can do a chrome trim and we can also do chrome trim and arch covers, which to me that looks black. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe that is actually secondary color. I'm not really sure. I think that I will actually add the chrome trim on today. I feel like that's a pretty good looking option for the vehicle. Let's go ahead and upgrade the brakes to race. For the bumpers, we do have different ones. We do have, we do have front and rear bumper options for this thing. Um, not much difference necessarily. I guess this one is smooth and it does remove the front plate, uh, which I do like. I think that I probably will keep it chrome just to match up with the amount of chrome that's on the car. Uh, so we'll go for the chrome smooth bumper and then for the rear bumper we have quite a few different things we can do here actually. I do kind of like the chrome bumper with the spare. I think that does look pretty good. Um, I also don't mind the chrome classic bumper either. It's kind of a tough call. Um, we might as well, I don't know, I feel like I don't really want the spare. I'm going to go with the, with the chrome classic bumper. Let's go for that. For the engine, we are going to upgrade this all the way. For the exhaust, we have chrome stock exhausts. We have dual exhausts, chrome dual. We also have short chrome exhausts on the side. We have a, a longer one, a large side exit or the, uh, the double side exit. I feel like I, mm, I feel like I kind of want to go chrome dual exhausts. Let's do that for this car. For the grill, we can do primary, secondary, or chrome horizontal. That's interesting. Uh, we have the primary horizontal block, secondary, and chrome vertical grill, as well as primary or secondary. Um, so that's kind of interesting. We have the chrome aggressive grill as well, primary aggressive grill or secondary. I feel like the I feel like I kind of like the primary aggressive grill. Let's go for that option, I think, today. For the hood, we do have hood accessories. We can add trumpet horns and trumpet horns with reflectors onto this. And then for the regular hood, we can do several different things, actually. We got the uh, the ribbed hood, chrome ribbed. Okay, cool. Primary chrome trim. I kind of like that, actually. It's kind of cool. Primary center trim molding. That's cool. We got the cowl hood, the triple intake, the single intake, high rise pipes cowl, the skull air blower. That's cool. I think for the sake of making it look good, I think I'm going to go for the either the primary chrome trim hood or the primary center trim molding. Maybe I think the primary chrome though. I think that's what we're going to go for. For the accessories, we will add the trumpet horns and the reflectors. I feel like that's kind of cool. So we'll do that. For the interior type, we have a stretcher or a coffin. Oh, that's cool. So you can make it into a hearse. That's really neat, actually. Um, I feel like the stretcher is so unique. Like we have obviously got hearses in GTA. Uh, so this isn't like super, super unique. I feel like the stretcher is really cool though. So I'm actually going to go for that option today. For the lights, I will go Xenon, and for the Neon kit, I will just put one on to improve the overall handling of the car because it does lower the center of gravity slightly, so that's the only reason I'm going to put that on. Normally, I would not do that. Now, for the liveries, we have the basic purple pinstripe. We also have that in blue. We have the white flame, which you can see along the side here. Um, I'm actually going to change the color of the car quickly just so we can see that a little bit better. Let's make it into a silver quickly. So we got the white flame on the side, we got the white aggressive flame, white sharp pinstripe lines, we got the red sharp pinstripe lines as well, we got the sugar skulls, the rusty mission row SA, and the harsh souls. Um, you know, typically I wouldn't go for it, but the, the flames are kind of cool, I do think. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe going for the white aggressive flames. I typically wouldn't do that, but I, I feel like it could be cool on this car, so that's the only reason I'm going to put it on. For the mirrors, we do have some different options here. Uh, I feel like the Chrome Classic mirrors are probably the coolest that we can do. They're not that different from stock, but that's what I'm going to go for today. Or the Chrome Vintage. What is this? Oh, actually, that's a little cooler. Mm, no, I like the fitment of those a little better. We'll keep those. Uh, we'll go SA Exempt for the plate. For the respray of the vehicle itself, I feel like this would look really good in either a red or a yellow, uh, especially with the white flames. Maybe, hmm, or an orange. Orange could be cool. Oh, it, it is kind of Halloween themed. Maybe we should go orange. That might be a thing. Let's let's go sunrise orange on it. And then for the pearlescent, I'm going to do a gold. 
I always do that with my Sunrise Orange. I feel like it looks really good, so we'll do that. And then for the secondary color, that does that part of the car. So we could do we could actually do that in a white. That might be kind of cool looking. Kind of accents the uh, the flames nicely. Could do that. Could also keep it black for Halloween, you know, orange and black themed. But I feel like I feel like it does actually look a little better in ice white. So let's let's do that in ice white. For the trim color on the interior, we'll probably keep it black. I think um, I feel like it just looks better. So we'll do that. Uh, now for the roof accessories, we got the siren lights, double siren lights, front emergency lights, double emergency lights, and the emergency lights with sirens. Well, I think we're going to have to go for this one, so let's do that quickly. For the roof itself, we can add quite a few different things onto here, actually. I feel like I feel like I want the raised roof. I feel like the raised roof is a really unique option, so let's go for that. For the suspension, I am going to slam this thing all the way down because it is in the muscle category, so it's probably going to need the <laughs> all the handling it can get. Uh, we will go for the raised transmission, turbo tuning as well. We'll throw that on. For the wheels, Honestly, I love the stock wheels. I think these look really good. Um, I guess we can go low rider though, maybe. I wouldn't mind going for something like the triple golds. I feel like that's not a bad looking room for this. Um, yeah, let's do the triple golds for the wheel. Let's do that. And we'll make those black, I think. And then for the tires, we will put the white walls back on. We will bulletproof them as well. And for the windows, we will do a light smoke, I think, because we want to be able to see the stretcher in the back. I think that's a pretty cool feature. So that's it for the customization portion of this. Let's take it outside. We're going to do a sound test as well as a full review on the car. So uh, let's quickly take a listen here. So it doesn't sound that incredible. It revs really slowly, which you would probably expect from a car from this era. Uh, so I can't really fault it there. It's a pretty cool vehicle though. I have to say this is actually a really unique one and I'm glad that Rockstar has added this into the game today. I think, it, uh, I think it's definitely very Halloween suited for sure. And I obviously I think they know what they're doing uh, by adding it in today. I have to say performance wise, it's actually impressing me. It's, it's actually quite a bit better than I expected it to be. It's decently fast it seems like and the handling isn't that horrific at least not yet we haven't really got into any serious corners so uh, we'll find out right here if it's uh, if it's gonna oh it's yeah it understeers a little bit actually you know what it doesn't understeer it's just got a very delayed steering response like you start turning and then like a second later it starts turning it's super weird actually it's got really slow steering um as you would probably expect because I don't think it would have power steering so I, I guess it kind of it kind of fits it's era specific I would say for sure um, but actually not a bad handling car like it doesn't actually really oversteer or understeer it's it's actually very well balanced it's just the uh, the handling isn't as precise as you would maybe hope for it to be but it's about what you would expect it to be I would say honestly the acceleration is nice I have to say the wheelie is pretty good actually let's do a quick wheelie here and uh See how that, okay. It, it definitely bottoms out at the back end of the car a little bit, uh, but you can keep it going for quite a while. Oh my goodness. That was an impressive wheelie, I have to say. Um, overall, pretty cool vehicle. I'm actually very impressed with it. It's, it's very neat. The customization, a lot of it is very unique. Obviously it is a new car, so you would hope that there's some unique customization to it. And Rockstar actually did deliver today. So I, I, I'm impressed, I'm impressed, I have to say. Uh, speed wise it's it's okay i mean if you're buying this car you, you should not be expecting it to be the fastest car ever be the best handling car ever anything like that um but you know it, it's it's faster than i expected it to be to be completely honest i think it uh, i think it actually is pretty good performance wise I'm, I'm very impressed i must say so um overall guys i think for the 1.5 mil that it costs it is a cool novelty item to have in gta especially for the halloween season i think it is actually a pretty cool vehicle and 
I feel like it's it's very nice for Halloween for sure. So if you guys have the spare money, if you have the spare garage space, I think it is a neat vehicle to pick up and it is probably one that you should look into uh, if you guys are interested, obviously. If you're looking for performance, it's not gonna be the car for you. You, you shouldn't have been expecting it to be either, to be honest, um, but yeah, it's, it's overall pretty decent. So I would say pick it up if you guys are interested for sure. It is a very unique car, very cool. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed my customization and review, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.